Today, we're opening a Spell Roller booster box to hunt for the Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. What's up, Breaker Army? I'm Card Breaker. Welcome back to another epic video. We will be channeling our inner Pegasus as we attempt to pull some of the Toon monsters that are featured in Spell Roller. Specifically, we are hunting that Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. Before we get into today's opening, you guys know I've got you with an epic giveaway, like always. We're giving away these classic Spell Roller cards to one lucky winner. And for a chance to win, make sure you leave a like on today's video. Make sure you're a subscriber. Make sure you guys do ring that bell. And let me know your favorite card featured from Spell Roller or Magic Roller, both the same. But let me know down below, guys. But let's get into this booster box. Okay, Spell Roller, it is your time to shine. A very classic booster box. I am, again, loving opening up these booster boxes. We got the Relinquished there in the back. On the front of it, it is the classic Toon World on the side. Some more Relinquished, of course, showing that one some love. And the Tuned Summon Skull. We are really, really wanting to pull that Blue Eyes Toon Dragon. That card and I, we, we have some history. I have pulled one before. Although, and of course, it did come from a reprint pack. But that's okay, because these are, of course, reprint packs. So maybe that's where our luck lies, in the reprint packs. But let's go, guys. Spell Roller cracking into this box for what feels like the first time. I never, ever had a chance to open up a booster box as a kid, just because... These are pretty expensive and you know not everyone is made of money i'm just very grateful that my parents got me what they got me and when i was opening up these packs as a kid here we go spell roller time again this box is also for my friend hey ghosty so let's wish him some good luck down below in the comment section as we box break this box and get him some amazing nostalgic cards for our guy yugi boy let's go hungry burger i, I really need to pick up the collector's rare of that one peacock the hamburger recipe boar soldier the Shining Angel, I think this one is still used in maybe goat format, I believe. And the Jigen Bakudan, Mechanical Snail, Electric Snake, High Tide Goijin. There are some really cool, really cool cards in, in Spell Ruler. It's just, it always, it's just so weird to say Spell Ruler. I remember when they changed it, I was just like, wait a minute, what's what's Spell Ruler, guys? Penguin Knight, the Ryuran Commencement Dance, Snake Fang, UFO Turtle, and oh, it is the Serpent Knight Dragon. Oh, that's such a bummer. We need an error box. So we pulled the secret rare in like the second pack, basically. Oh, that is, I'm, I'm not going to lie. That is a little bit of a bummer because I really wanted to pull that tune for my guy, Hey Ghosty. That's the one card that he was really wishing for. Although we are grateful, of course, we got a secret. It seems like every box is guaranteed to have a secret rare. That's just, that's not the one that we wanted to see. We wanted to see the tune blue eyes, but let's pray for an error box and get something absolutely wild and get another secret rare. Final Destiny, the Senju of the Thousand Hands, and is just the Metal Fish, guys. Just the Metal Fish. Not pulling that Toon Blue Eyes just means we're going to pull, like, every Toon Monster. So let's go with the Toon to Summon Skull. Let's go ahead and get that one today. Maybe a Toon Mermaid as well. Eternal Rest, the Luminous Spark, Mother Grizzly, and I think we've got a Hollow. It is the Confiscation. We are giving away a Confiscation. We're getting it right back. That same thing that happened with the Metal Raiders box. That's okay, you know... This is, again, a box for my guy, Hey Ghosty. We are giving away some cards on my behalf, not his behalf. So we are, of course, trying to pull some really good stuff for him, too. Spear Cretin, we've got the Whiptail Crow, Horn of the Unicorn, and the Rising Air Current. Was it Horn of the Unicorn that I think Yugi equipped, what was it, Um, one of the Imp cards? Was it that one that he equipped it with? I can't remember what it was, like, back in the anime. That was, that was some strange stuff. Like, Season 1 was very, very weird with the rules. There was just, any anyone can do whatever they wanted to do, basically. The Reliable Guardian, the Nibble Amanga. I love saying that card. Metal Fish, House of Adhesive Tape, Taihon at number 2, and the High Tide Goijin. I don't really recall too many commons that are, you know, featured in this set that were used in the anime. You guys know a lot of them. Let me know down below, because I can't really think of a bunch. Taylor of the Fickle, the Dark Witch. Amoeba, and it is the Magical Labyrinth. Let me know which of these reprint sets you were most excited for. Was it, of course, the Legend of Blue Eyes because of Legend of Blue Eyes, or was it something else? I know a lot of people, Invasion of Chaos was a big one, so I'm really, really excited to open that box. We are really hoping to see the Black... Whoop! Oh, we just went right into it. I wasn't even paying attention. Megamorph, that's going to be one of our Ultra Rares. I don't think that's one that he's going to be too thrilled to see, but it is, of course, an Ultra Rare. We got to see some of the other Toon cards. Toon Summon Skull's got to come to us. What else is in this set as an Ultra? I'm kind of drawing a blank. I can't really think. Is it, um... Oh, gosh. I know Toon Summon Skull. I believe Toon Mermaid is also one. I'm drawing a blank. I can't think of what other Ultras we've got. Level Guardian, the Giant Rat, Sonic Bird. Oh, of course, Relinquish is one of them. What else? What else? What else? Toon World is a super. 
Oh my god, I'm drawing like a complete blank, guys. I can't think of what other what other ultras we have. We're, we just gotta pull them. We gotta pull some crazy stuff. We ran the Whiptail Crow, Commencement Dance, the Cyber Jar, a complete menace of way back in the day. And we've got the Messenger of Peace. I think this card is still actually used. Is it um Labyrinth, maybe? Or Runic? Maybe it's Runic. I think it's Runic that uses this card. Very weird. You know, it's just crazy that cards like that from 2000, what, 2002, 2003 can still be used in the meta today and just wreck havoc, basically. Just completely destroy someone's day. October, sir, we've got the Umarika, Umaruka, I think. Labyrinth Wall, Twin Long Rods number two, the Mother Grizzly, and it is the House of Adhesive Tape, Magical Labyrinth, and the Slot Machine. We're on to our last pack on this side of the box. I don't think it really matters. I think it's kind of just random. Maybe, you know, just maybe you do get... I gotta go back and see now, because I think we pulled the Thousand Dragon on the right side of the booster box. Interesting. I think we did. We pulled the Thousand Dragon and the Gaia, I believe, in the right side as well. Wall Shadow and the Upstart Goblin. What? You guys, let me know, guys. Have you guys had some weird stuff happen with your booster boxes? Is it guaranteed that you get one Ultra per each side and your secret on the right side? That's strange. I, I wonder if that's going to be the case for, like, all booster boxes or if we're just having some really strange occurrence and luck here. Hungry Burger, Ancient One of the Deep Forest, Snake Fang, Four Soldier, Shining Angel again, it is the Malevolent Nuzzler. Do you think Konami will ever reprint like the GX era sets? Could you imagine the chaos that would happen if they reprinted those? I, I would honestly not be like too upset because to have like the original ultimate rares and stuff reprinted and just make them kind of cost effective would be pretty nice. Like of course, Elemental Energy like we had just opened up, very expensive booster box, but how could you guys imagine like just buying like a 60 to $70 booster box of that one? Granted, it would be the modern format layout of the cards, and of course, everyone would kind of hate it. However, the ultimate rares do look pretty decent nowadays, too. So, and I'm just curious, what are your guys' thoughts? Rush recklessly. Ooh, and the black pendant. Totally forget that this one, well, I say I forget, but every time I see it, I'm just like, ah, what a bummer. This card is just like so irrelevant as a super. I don't think it really is used in like any any decks that I can think of off the top of my head right now. Oh, guys. Oh, bah. Oh, we are into Spell Roller. We've got the Pharaoh's a Servant next. Invasion of Chaos. This is just fun. I actually I actually am having fun. I really am. Hero's Shadow Scout, the Griggle. Again, like I'd mentioned, I think in the previous video, maybe even during this video, looking at these commons and just reflecting back on my collection that I'm like building right now, it's just, it's a lot of fun because I know what's to come basically once I find like condition worthy cards basically as I build out those binders, which you guys will see here very soon. I promise. I know I said it. I promise I will. Hamburger Recipe, the UFO Turtle, and the Molten Destruction Sonic Bird, and the Minar. I'd also like to know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Do you think this is a set that's going to hold a value in the long run? I think I've asked this question before, but I really can't remember like what the response was. I don't, I don't think very many people responded to it. Flying Commentary number one in the course of Sanctuary. Do you guys think like 10 years from now, what do you think the value of these packs are going to be? Like obviously Konami can do whatever they want to do whenever they want to do and just basically print money is what they're doing right now. Really curious though, like 10, 10 years from now, do you think these will still be... Ooh, yes, we got the Toon Summon Skull. I am so glad. Yes, so we didn't get him the Toon Blue Eyes, but at least we did it kind of ah, just pull us the Toon Summon Skull. That's, you know, I'm happy. I'm just like fumbling over my words right now because I was not ready. I was not paying attention enough. <laughs> I was in like deep thought, basically. There it is. There's the Toon Summon Skull. I'm very hyped for that. We couldn't deliver and get him the Toon Blue Eyes, but at least we got him the Toon Summon Skull. Just another iconic, of course, monster from the original anime when Pegasus got his butt whooped, basically. Hungry Burger. I think that has been our first card on like six different packs, pretty much. Final Destiny, the Reliable Guardian, Karate Man, and the Griggle. Do we do we have all of our hollows? Let's see. Messenger of Peace, Confiscation, the Black Pendant. We should have one more, one more super, I believe. We might have to shuffle these packs for the next couple of openings because it seems like they're kind of mappable. Mother Grizzly and the Black Illusion Ritual. Speaking of, there is our super. So I do think that these are mappable because these are about roughly where we pulled the hollows in the last couple openings. I think it was like the second or third to last pack as well. So this is this is pretty interesting. If these can be mapped, I know Heart of the Pack is of course going to make a video. I'm sure he will because he is the king of that. Shining Angel, the Molten Destruction. But that, that would be really upsetting if they actually end up mapping these booster boxes. Because the Secret Rare, I think, was in like maybe the fourth pack. I think it was the second pack for this box. So maybe not. Maybe it is just kind of random. 
and you are guaranteed like a left and a right side to get some kind of split even ratio. Hero Shadow Scout and the Rising Air Current. Let's see if we can't get lucky and finish with an air box and get our guy, Hey Ghosty, the Toon Blue Eyes and some crazy finish. Let's go guys, Giant Turtle who feeds on flames, very weird. Turtle Oath, the Whiptail Crow, Twin Long Rods number two, Rush Recklessly, and it is the House of Adhesive Tape. So we couldn't get our guy, the Toon Blue Eyes White Dragon, but I think we had a really good box. I am very happy with the pulls. I am loving all this nostalgia and I am looking forward to the rest of this week. I do have to give a massive shout out to our channel members, Rare Hunter X, Cameron Gaming TCG, Sargoni666, K Dragon, Mark Donnelly, Lazy Dane, Cody Slater, Pineapple Bow, Attention Duelist, Josh Evans, Michael P. Sutton, Call Me Corey Ray, and Hey Ghosty. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I do hope you have a nice day. Hope you have a nice night. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Cardbreaker. I'm out.